家看的就是我们身后的这个正在进行施工的，它的开发商呢来自 Subway。那我们今天呢也荣幸的邀请到了 Subway 开发商的代表啊，跟咱们一块儿去介绍一下这个项目。So what you can see here is basically the external of viaducts. So we've got a full glass facade going up the entire development of the 40 stories. We've not topped out yet, so you can imagine the development going uh, a lot higher, pretty much double from where it is at the moment. Over that way is north. And um, the way we can see the development now facing out towards behind us is east, which is towards Piccadilly, which is also going to be a really nice view. And so, um, south facing is towards Deansgate Square, just to give you a bearings. Now we'll head inside and I'll show you the, the full interior of the development. Viaduct 现在还在建呀，预计是二零二四年交房。那房姐呢，就先走进工地现场，看一下这个项目的施工情况。So all the brickwork here is all Grade Two listed. So it's been around for pretty much hundred years. And what it used to be was actually a car auction sort of house. It used to be a warehouse, car auction. So where they used to sell cars. So what's happened is we've obviously taken over the build.、Um, as it's Grade Two listed, there are certain things that we can and can't do. So what we've done is we basically we can't knock it down and we can't start fresh. So what we've done is we've renovated all of the all of the sort of brickwork. So as you can see, all the grouting has been done by hand, and、uh, yeah, it makes it a really characterful and really special build. This area will be in the future. So the area we we've entered into now is the main lobby, the main concierge. So through there, you're going to get your main full glass facade entrance way, where all the residents can enter from. In here, obviously, you've got a Grade Two listed sort of、um, uh, bricks. That's where your concierge is going to be, the main lobby. That's an interesting contrast. You know, outside is very modern, and then when you enter, it's actually very modern. That's it. Yeah. So what we've got is so Manchester used to be a very industrial city. So what you've got is the sort of history of Manchester with the Grade Two listed artwork here. Contrasted with the four-story glass tower on top, it just shows like the previous history and like the future of Manchester, which is always quite special. This is all co-working here. This is all co-working residence area lounge. They get to chill out, enjoy themselves. So we've got our own private bar, swimming pool, a cinema room, and yeah, karaoke and oh, you know, everything, everything that you can think of. 当然了，这个项目的公共设施可不止这些。咱们上到二楼呢，就是一个超大的健身房。So what we've got here, on this floor going all the way down to the back there. Is one of the largest indoor residential gyms in Manchester. So it goes from obviously from this side all the way out here. 那公共空间咱们看完了，咱们来看一个两居室啊。那这栋楼还在建，所以我们现在看到的呢，还是这个房间的工地。但是从这里已经能看出，开发商的建筑标准还是非常高的。Yes, so we so we call it dumbbell layout. So you've got the living area and the kitchen in the middle. Two bedrooms with ensuite, everything facing out towards obviously、uh, Piccadilly. In terms of the, the kitchen and appliances, highest spec you can get. Everything comes including including the、um, oven, yeah,、uh, extractor fan, dishwasher,、uh, washer dryer, basically fridge, freezer. Everything comes included. We got a breakfast little bar here. The TV can go on the wall. So for a quality of life, quality of living, it's the highest standard. 那接下来呢，咱们参观两个卧室。这个户型呢比较敞亮，而且呢惊喜的是，两个卧室都是 ensuite， 都带独立的卫生间。这个设计会很受欢迎啊，因为无论是主人还是客人呢，都会有自己独立的洗手间。A1 location, number one location in the city, is the best spec that you're going to get in any development. One thing you were asking me before was about our sort of self-financed, sort of privately funded situation. It is so basically we we're owned by、um, one of the largest bookmakers in the world. He's a co-owner of our、uh, company along with、uh, Simon Ismail. Now, what Fred Doan can bring to the company is basically obviously that a lot of it is the self-financed side. So he puts his own funds and he sources funds himself as a company.、Um, and what we can do with that is. Basically, we build the development ourselves. We build it without the need of your investors' funds. So, regardless of whether we sell one unit or a hundred units, this is definitely going to complete, as has been the case with our eight developments in the past. 那这段呢很有意思啊，跟大家用中文解释一下。那刚才这个小哥哥呢，给咱们介绍了一下 Sawboy 这家开发商，他最大的股东呢，其实是英国最大的博彩集团 Betfred。因为 Betfred 资金实力雄厚呢，啊，所以 Sawboy 的所有施工的款项呢，都是他们的自有资金。这个呢。对于买期房的客户是非常非常安心的一件事因为 Sawboy 的项目呢，现在没有项目上的样板间，所以呢，我们带大家来了一个它已经完工的项目 Fifty Five， 看一下呢，它已经完工项目的建筑标准和它的设施情况。
。那 Fifty Five 呢，位于曼城北部，看看电影院、健身房、瑜伽室等等的都是一经俱全的啊。住在这里呢，是可以全方面感受到曼城的这种非常现代的生活节奏。那正在建的 v i a d u c s 作为曼城市区的地标建筑，它的标准会比 Fifty Five 还要高很多。那除此之外呢 ，Subway 这个开发商还有另外一个在建的楼盘，叫维多利亚中心啊，同样位于曼城非常核心的地段，也是一个充满活力的高端住宅项目。This is our Victoria House development, set for completion quarter two 2024, which is the same time as Viaducts. Now we are progressing along very nicely. It's not a four-story tower. This one's a 25-story tower at the top. Um, in terms of the major, major sort of interest for this development is obviously the location. We're minutes walk away from the Piccadilly station, where you know HS2 is being built, so that's connecting London and Manchester to an hour's travel time, cutting it down from two hours down to one hour, so you can imagine for business perspectives, it can do really well. Um, in terms of the actual development itself, just behind it, we've got the five-star Leonardo Hotel. Um, Victoria House located here, very nicely, just off of Great Ancoat Street here, which is the main uh, ring road for, for Manchester. Two beds starting from 340,000. One bed's all sold out again. 那 Subway 在曼城的楼盘呢？咱们就看到这儿。北曼城，南伦敦，曼彻斯特作为全世界的第一个实现工业化的城市，现在呢也是仅次于伦敦的英国第二大经济体。因此呢，在这里买房子，无论是投资还是自住啊，其实都是非常有潜力的。而 Subway 这个开发商呢，作为曼城最大的开发商之一，项目设计和建筑质量呢，也是经得起现场考察的。那么今天的彩蛋咱们就到这里，北京黄金在伦敦，咱们下回见。